So welcome back to Better Life PH. Uh, as you can see, uh, we decided to move the pre-filter to be before the filter. Um, I think everyone that watches this can figure out why. Uh, it's not 100% yet. It's leaking and stuff, but uh, uh, yeah, they they have solvent and Teflon and tools, so should be fine otherwise I will step in and do it just kidding actually not but um, they should be able to do it without a problem we also got some bamboo here I think this is a bamboo either that or something with a similar name uh, it's a big grass whatever it is uh, we don't have water right now uh, <clears throat> it got cut off somewhere upstream they're gonna go check it uh, they're on the same line so they want water too here uh, the kitchen so what we're gonna do here <coughs> sorry about that uh, is put hollow blocks around it just uh, like too high uh, fill it up with the soil and just flatten out a bit. It's gonna be a temporary outdoor kitchen, so it doesn't need to be perfect or anything. Um, but yeah, and then uh, uh, put the amakan, whatever that is. The oh yeah, inside the woven bamboo stuff. Uh, put that on the walls, and I'm thinking I want it here. She doesn't. She wants it over there, so no one can see it. Uh, but like a small recycling station meaning metal plastic and stuff we're gonna burn I'm not guaranteeing we're not gonna burn the plastic I'm just saying um, yeah but um, yeah and anyone that ever been in the Philippines knows that even when it's not a construction site there's trash everywhere uh, we're not gonna have that so we need uh, uh, something to collect stuff um, I'm thinking just simple wooden frame and then big rice sacks that should be enough so this is the Amakan and uh, I'm hoping we can still use these even though they look like this we'll see uh, they have uh, done the first coat of a skin or a skin coat and uh, rust proof that uh, one layer so far two layers need on this one and they ran out of paint but she did or this was anise so uh, we bought uh, more of that paint and uh, yeah it's adding white to the walls really helps you can actually see things in this room now but yeah, so they're gonna finish the rust proofing um, and then uh, do the last layer of skim coat. And then we're gonna paint it in the future, both rooms, not the same color. I'm thinking something light grayish, something like that in here, and more warmer beige in here. I've given uh, my wife a list of possible um, numbers for paint from the rice or shine I think it's called the manufacturer uh, <clears throat> she found a store in Quezon the, the city like an hour away um, <laughs> uh, of course they didn't have any uh, paint actually available that I was interested in oh yeah we also have this one. Hi, buddy. It's alive in case you wonder, it's just chilling here. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, and the view, always awesome. So, we're thinking the framework here, uh, we're gonna paint it black. I don't know if you can see it, it's a uh, rust, uh, rust proof primer right now. It's this. Uh, red rust looking thing uh, but we paint it black and then at least on the poles we're probably gonna cover them in bamboo so it looks more in nature we're trying to not look like an artillery base as someone commented earlier 
uh, will uh, will will fit into nature eventually. Um, make sure it looks nice. Oh yeah, uh, Lola and Nice have started harvesting the corn as well. So uh, yeah, it, it's uh, before you ask. Yes, it's actually supposed to look like this. It, it's uh, kind of on the edge. Uh, it's very dry, but apparently that's how they do it. What do I know? Um, <clears throat> yeah, sorry, my throat is still, or uh, my upper uh, <clears throat> respiratory tract is still cov in, covered in mucus. Um, Alright, so I, unlike my wife, I'm not climbing this shit with one hand busy, so I'll just pause here and give you a look of the roof. Alright, I'm not gonna stay up here long because as you can see it's quite dark. So this is the plexi wand. But it's also very strong sun today. And I'm barefoot because I don't like this bamboo ladder. And it's hot as hell. <laughs> uh, so if here, ow, 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 that will be me. Holy shit, this is hot. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, this is what the roof looks like now. And, uh, uh, still a little bit more uh, work to do. We're also gonna do. Oh fuck yeah! Uh, uh, we're gonna put screens over these wee poles uh, before they go into. Okay, I'm going down now. Son of a. Um, but yeah, it looks much better now, and I will see you in a bit when my feet aren't burning. All right, that went quickly. Sorry about that, but I could start smelling the burning flesh of my feet so they also added on the side and on top so uh, yeah it looks heck of a lot better and uh, um, even before that uh, the plexibond uh, they claimed that uh, during heavy rain after they added concrete it wasn't uh, leaking oh yeah they also did the plastering on this one I didn't even notice last time I was here um, so yeah this is, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, it's still a little bit wet, but it should hold the tank and that's all I needed for you. Yeah. I have chickens. Uh, so for this wall, one idea we have is to dig out like one meter, one meter, one meter, one meter uh, kind of terrace. So not... Uh, use gently oh sorry that's Swedish uh, <laughs> uh, anything uh, other than the dirt itself since it's pretty solid and then plant uh, most likely fruit trees or uh, something with uh, strong roots to hold it all together so not go uh, uh, re uh, retaining wall again I mean obviously we have to dig a lot best you can see I mean Anyone that's been on the channel a while, uh, and thank you by the way for that, uh, but you see that the, this wall hasn't really done anything. Uh, lots of strong rain, uh, even had a typhoon, although that one was mainly in the sun, but uh, th that wall is not really doing anything. So the soil is pretty well compacted, and if we just do like one meter vertical, one meter horizontal uh, over time. Uh, at least that's the current idea. If someone thinks that's absolutely smart or not, uh, feel free to write in the comments. We will read it and I will always answer. Um, yeah. Um, and this time, since this is something for the future, I might actually read it before we've done something <laughs> we're closing in uh i know some people are oh we do have water nice oh yeah yeah yeah. he this i think he pulled this one sorry for jumping i just saw this uh this one is from a water source on our land actually so lolo wanted to plant eggplants somewhere here i'm not sure where uh so he uh, got more water. That's, yeah, this is strong. Ish. On and off. Let's see, can we show it? This is very difficult with one hand. But yeah. 
Yeah. On and off, but uh, free. I like free. Free is good. More things in life should be free, right? Um, but yeah. And the retaining wall is still standing. Uh, well, I mean, it's not <laughs> perfect. I'm not happy about all parts of it, but it hasn't crumbled over and uh, the house is uh, still there, so oops, sorry about that. That was one hand, uh, but yeah, I will once we move in uh, dig out like I'm thinking down to the first weep holes. I don't want to go all the way, and the holes aren't exactly level anyway. Uh, but down to the first weep holes is like 50 meters our retaining wall, so down it might be up to a meter and. Um, Either use these rocks, or if we have to buy, if we have to buy, we have to buy. Um, and do kind of like a French drain without the pipe at the bottom, I think. Instead of use the weep holes we already have, direct water out there. Um, I need, still need to find a good uh, water permeable uh, membrane, or what is it, like non-woven geotextile fabric, whatever. We can find that they actually have. That's also the second part. We actually uh, have to have it. Uh, just knowing what you want is not enough in the province or in the Philippines, for that matter. You also have to be able to find it. Oops, I did something. All right. Um, but yeah, uh, that's where we're up today. My wife is off doing sukba sukba ista ista. Uh, grilled fish for lunch with uh, uh, Lolo and Anise and uh, some family members. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm still not completely adapted to the Filipino cuisine. Um, I, I found some, some uh, like eateries, a couple of them at least, that have uh, beef steak. I think I talked about that before, but it's actually good. One of them is good. The other one still hasn't learned how to use proper parts of the animal. But the first one, they uh, slaughter it well, and there's no hard stuff, no fat, no cartilage, no bone, you name it. And it's a relatively decent price, and it tastes good. Uh, so. The big problem I have with the Filipino cuisine isn't really the taste. The taste is usually fine. It's just that you bite into something and it's not meat. And I hate that so much. Um, I, I, I don't want to feel like, oh yeah, this is good. Oh, cartilage, lovely. Like, nah, I'm not doing that. Uh, so luckily she is willing to cook for me. Um, I can cook myself as well. I, I cooked for the first month we were here, so she learned how <laughs> I want things. Um, but uh, yeah, so we. But she still obviously uh, really likes the Filipino cuisine. So when she gets the chance to uh, get some grilled fish or uh, yeah, whatever, lechon is a big one. I do not like that, but. Uh, then uh, she jumps on the chance. Alright, uh, yeah, it goes. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm just rambling here as usual. But the uh, hose, yeah, it should go to uh, our water source. Cool, because that means we can actually use that water source for us as well. Cool, cool, cool. Good to know. I wasn't sure because it, uh, it's very difficult to see from here through this one to know the height of it. I don't have an app or anything like that. Uh, but because somewhere down here is the water source or one of the water sources. I think he took an, a higher one. At least that makes sense to me. And yes, we have ferns. I just saw uh, uh, Island Life, it's a channel for those that don't know, uh, Filipino uh, lady and her Russian guy and uh, they are covered, or not they, their land is covered in these ferns. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I know the, the feeling but once 
someone, I think it was one of our comment section, sorry, uh, I don't remember who it was, but thank you, uh, told me that it can actually be used as food for humans, and um, hopefully goats, uh, then I don't mind these ferns as much. In Sweden I hate the, the ferns, so difficult to get rid of, like the root system is so, I mean it's good for holding the soil down, but it's, yeah, anyway. Uh, there's a hole in my hose here, All right? But yeah, oh yeah, maybe that more shouldn't be strong enough to affect the water flow. It's probably just goes in waves. All right, fine, fine, fine. That's good. It's super hot today. Sunny as hell. I don't know if you can see it, but I think you can. Uh, but up here on our land, with the breeze, especially when you're in the shade, obviously, it's still very nice. So it's 26 Celsius, I would guess, in the sun. Um, it's still totally comfortable with a cool breeze coming in. So yeah, I'm very happy today. Uh, it was a little bit of a worry because... Um, yeah, I mean, it's so Lorega where we're uh, renting, it's a bit higher up in the colder and I need cold to survive. Just my my jeans. Um, I mean, it's gonna be super hot, most likely in here because we have no ventilation, um, and that's on purpose from my part. I, I know that it's gonna be a couple of weeks of me sweating like crazy until we can fix it, but I need to feel how it is before I start knocking holes in the wall. But I'm thinking we'll have. Let's see, let's not step on anything. We'll have like three holes or something with um, vents so we can control it and prevent bugs uh, on this wall and like three or four on this one. Should be enough to get uh, air in and we can control it so when it is cold, because for her at least it, it does get cold here. Um, which is like 16 degrees Celsius, but still, uh, for her it's cold. Um, I can't do anything on here because the other wall is gonna be, or the other side of the wall is gonna be a hallway in the future, I hope. But for the patio, and then this wall should be fine. Should be enough air to cool it down. Uh, we don't need AC here. Uh, might need a fan. Uh, it depends if it's windy or not right now. I don't know if you can see it, but it's windy right now. It's so comfortable. Um, yeah, I'm very happy about this place. It's starting to feel more like um, a house now, not just a building site. Still a, sh a lot of things to do and fix. Like my uh, one of my favorites is this one. You can see the rebar there. Always good, right? At least they painted it with uh, rust proof paint, but yeah, awesome. And uh, we have a lot of weeds to get rid of, but yeah, harvesting is being done, the house is moving forward, we have electricity on the way, um, in the house, uh, water, we have at least two water sources currently. Uh, and one is working, but that's a different story. Um, kitchen is getting ready. Yeah. And we're, uh, the roof is looking good. And we found, uh, I mean, we've had them around the whole entire time, but uh, we found the workers that I trust uh, quite a bit, which is very important. Um, so now it's just about finishing up so we can move in. And... Uh, then we have 101,000 projects to finish, but that's a different day in the future. So yeah, oh yeah, uh, they are, so the family's living there. So that's where Lolin is. Uh, yes, anyway, this was a long one, it feels like for me. I've been walking around rambling. So I hope you enjoyed it and as always our patio view, nice, 
see you guys. So we are at our uh, banana nursery. Yes. So these are 500 of uh, what? Uh, Lakatan seedlings. L Lakatan seedlings. Yeah. Banana. So <clears throat> just waiting for them to yeah start looking like this. Yeah, and some are then shooting it's up. about time to plant. Yeah, like those there. So yeah, this is supposed to be 500. Yeah, and more. And We've got extra. All right. So we will have a lot of bananas, I think is the term I'm looking for, uh, being PG-13 and everything. Uh, and you know where to plant it, and I'm not going to be too much involved. Yeah, we have a plan. <laughs> you have a plan. Yes. Perfect. And yes, that's our septic tank, so no, it's not Can being you. Me? Oh, sorry. I was gonna do a really bad joke there, but I don't think you would have liked it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, so, wow. Yeah, it takes so quick. We haven't weeded. Oh, yeah, these, these are edible. Yeah, these are veggies. These are veggies. These are not. And this is anise clearing stuff. Mm -hmm. This, somewhere in here are my pineapples. Uh, we'll. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, weed this out. Uh, yeah, it's good compost or something, right? We're gonna have a, a lot of corn as well. Sayote. Oh, that's sayote? Yeah, baby sayote seeds. Oh, you have. Yes. Hi. Tiny. Shout out to mom and Lola. Mom ah. and Lola. They mm. like sayote. Oh, I thought they were the ones planting it. All right. No, I was the one planted it for <laughs> the banana, and then now it's growing. All right. But yeah, but we'll make sure these should we give it something to climb on? Yeah, but you have to be careful in clearing this out. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I'm, Yay. I'm, I'm thinking we let uh, Anise clearing it out since yeah, she's nice. better at it than well. I mean, I, I would Proud just of myself, huh? I would just kill I everything. Sayote. I also grew sayote in Santa Maria, but yes. They. They died because of the heat, but here it's uh, good. Here it's good, yeah. For those that wondered, planting in the Philippines means what? Ha What's the science behind? How, how do you plant stuff in the Philippines? You just show it in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> there is no scientific thing. Yeah, no. Uh, okay. or, or either we shove it in the ground or we just throw seeds You're right. in the nature. You don't even shove it, you know, just put it on the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not how we do it in Sweden. Because everything will die. Uh, oh yeah, we have some new, uh, some new plants here. Those, oh, yeah. those were given by the school, actually. These uh, or pink, we purple. We took it from the school because the school had just cleared it out and then they didn't care about the stem, so ah. we brought it. <laughs> so is this stolen? Should we cut this? Not stolen. It's borrowed again. Collected. This collected. All right. Oh yeah. Our harvest corn. Yes. Just to show in the video. Sure. Uh, the rest of the family, Anis and Loloi, helped. But yeah. Anis and Loloi helped harvesting the corn. You did everything else. Is that the? No, is that the story we're going with here? Come on. Okay. <laughs> uh, for anyone wondering. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, for anyone wondering, she's gonna be harvesting like two cobs. And they did 99.99999% of the work. <laughs> we'll take the credit though, right? Yeah, I have. Yes, you help now. Oh, you mean yesterday? No, I Were we here yesterday? I don't remember. So, yeah. You can go closer. This is how they harvest corn. So, once again, a scientific technique, you rip it open and take it out. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have to grade it, right? Wait, wait, we have the seed there, or the... Um, machine? Machine on hmm. the highway. Is it still across from our gate, pretty much? Yeah. Alright, cool. So, yes. Then we, we put it in the sack. 
Mm. And just put it in the miller, or not really miller, but... A machine, machine that rips the... Yeah. I have no idea what... Uh, mice, corn, whatever. Corn, mice. Yeah, I'm, mice. I'm going Swedish here. I don't. I have no idea what the English word is, but those little thingies on the cob, yeah, I think corn, I, I guess. Maybe it's just corn. Corn on the cob. That makes sense to me. Watch it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and <laughs> that 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 was the your harvesting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're so helpful. <laughs> no, I'll help later. I I did a lot of work yesterday. I'm, I'm having a rest. Yeah, well, I mean, the more work you make or do, perform, the less they do and the less money they make, so. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah, we're back here. I already did a lot of filming from here, so. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, show more when the hardcore the workers. The Yeah, it's not looking great there. Covered in paint and stuff. Yeah. So are are they gonna they're gonna build more for the this thing, right? Or is it gonna be on that stand? Um, I think they're gonna build more or make it sturdy at least. But yeah, it's already sturdy. All right. Yeah, no, it looks sturdy. It's just <coughs> you and your eyes are, right? Yeah. I'm gonna have to be the here. Yeah. <laughs> With the wheel. Yeah. Oh yeah, we need to buy uh, pots and stuff. Yeah. Is this, uh, was this Marmars? Or, I think, yeah, uh, they left here. Oh well, well, we'll trade it for the shovels and <laughs> no, they, they have shovels and they return to the hammer. Oh, Did they return our shovels? We have the shovels. That our wasn't... shovels are complete. Okay, so that was a clear answer. It's not always. So if you ever decide to... Uh, find a Filipina. Don't expect clear answers. <laughs> it's I, I'm starting to call it the Riddler. She doesn't like that. Uh, uh, so yeah. Anyway. It's my favorite kind of spot here. Yes. We're gonna finish with uh, our yeah. bedroom view. Yeah, we'll paint that one black. Or... Yeah, it looks like a painting. Yeah, it looks nice. It's not nice. a painting. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Kind of weird uh, painting with the Davao cement bag, but uh, uh, it's a yeah, it looks <laughs> nice though. Yeah, I like this. I'll, I'll, I'll oh yeah, myself. of course you will. <laughs> <Your model. laughs> yeah, you have the one hater though that doesn't, doesn't like you modeling. I don't care. No, we don't care. <laughs> I'll you, do it. you look really dark here. Maybe it's just the phone, but all right. <laughs> See you guys. We bought rambutan and then we ate it and then we kept the seeds. And that's exactly how the how advanced that one went. Um, but we have like 200 seeds or something. Uh, just gonna go over here and check. It's, uh, see if I can walk normal here. Uh, oh, kid, stop screaming! Excellent. We have a angry baby here, or upset baby. And we have, yeah, I think everyone can guess what they're doing. They have a cell phone. So this is the setup. Uh, that's the baby being uh, calmed. So yeah, we just do uh, nothing fancy here, just like a small wall. Uh, this is gonna be an opening uh, just to put some extra support and then fill it up with soil just enough so we can uh, have it relatively straight or even and yes this is we have uh, uh, where are they ah masks I try to get the N95, but they don't sell those, so we just have, these are some fishing masks or something, I have no clue, but uh, they don't want to use them anyway, uh, same, I offered, like getting here in protection for uh, um, uh, grinding, 
but they're not gonna use it so they do uh, use the welding mask which I'm very grateful for but uh, yes yeah, safety equipment in the Philippines it's not really a thing uh, unfortunately but we can't I'm not gonna try to force them to they don't want to use it because they can't breathe in the masks they say so they're fully grown men I'm I'm not gonna tell them what to do and not to do unless it's my stuff so yeah uh, we're gonna test the roof later if we can get this hose or connect it to something and put it on the roof and then just pour water on it and see if it goes down um, the water catching system also we need to flush the water catching system because right now some of the weep holes have concrete and uh, dust and rocks and stuff in it uh, but yeah just pump a lot of water in it hopefully it goes down the roof Hopefully, hopefully, it will be good. We will make it work, right? Whew. Yeah, kids. And they helped. Then uh, they saw a phone and now they're playing Candy Crush or uh, something similar. Uh, <laughs> yeah, children are the same everywhere. But these don't get to play much on the phone, which I think is very, 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 very good for them. Speaking from experience as well. Anyway, back into nature. Not like I'm doing anything. I was kicked off the planting job. Not really, but they're doing marites, or chica chica. Uh, gossiping, talking. Uh, so um, I don't understand it anyway but uh, I helped we did some work just difficult to film while doing work ah uh, yeah I need to fix that all right we are as usual I never know which vi video is gonna be the last but I always try to end every single one with our view because I like it see you Curiosity. Yeah, we're just checking how the work is done. Okay, for the Okay, along, along. Let's see what's this. Oops. <laughs> Bread and uh, fruit soda orange. I think it's like RC Cola or something. I don't drink carbonated, so I have no idea. Well, I wouldn't think so, so <laughs> <laughs> that's why I don't drink it, but yeah. I tasted a bit. Hmm. Yeah, sugar and acid. Well, I wonder if the camera can. Uh, are we gonna get copyright struck? We can, uh, look at the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Things being built. Yeah. Uh, and uh, at least it's a lot less liquid than we've been uh, accustomed to. This looks uh, more like oatmeal. A little bit. A little bit wet, but... Uh, a lot. This looks like a small rip wrap. It's a it's a wall, yes. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I mean sometimes the other guys when they were some of the concrete was essentially a soup. Very liquid. Yeah, this is less. So this is much less, yeah. Live and learn. Yeah. Kids. Uh, yeah. It's not really much going on. I'm trying to. Yeah. Yeah, you talk. I'm trying to film something without me babbling all the time. 
I don't mind. <laughs> no, but others might. Yeah, they I'm just it's rambling. Your inside, like a Hawaii in the province no, in the Philippines. Yeah, I mean, what, uh, part what are you thinking? Part what are inside. You about? What, what am I thinking about? Yeah, it's mm. part inside, part wild guessing, part trying to figure out what they're gonna do. That is fun. But yeah, this. Uh, and confirm the road. Oh yeah. <laughs> so the yeah, road it, it hasn't rained for a couple of days, so. Anytime a truck or a uh, uh, vehicle drives by, it's uh, yeah. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's a cloud of dust. Especially, we had some big trucks coming in a few minutes ago. Hi. <laughs> so that younger kid, the left one, and he's is operating the. Uh, uh, oh, the banana? Yeah, banana. Uh, <coughs> banana. So the, uh, the other kid there, not you, yeah, it's is... Uh, Unlimited uh, food from nature. Yeah, it's Anissa's youngest brother, right? Yeah. So her dad, that was, he just lost his wife, so yeah, they have... How many kids were there? Eleven. Eleven siblings. And they were still going at it, obviously, because <laughs> that kid is like four, five, something. Five, six, maybe. Yeah. Well, at least like each other. Yeah. Hard for him now, though, but. I like you. I like you too. We're not having eleven kids, though. No. We can oh, unless we count like goats and chickens. Yeah, we'll and, count those. Okay, cool. Miko is our eldest. <laughs> and our bitchiest. Huh? <laughs> our bitchiest. Who? Miko. Oh, yeah. He's gonna be a complete we'll a-hole to everyone else. He yeah. already is. That's our cat, by the way, in case someone <laughs> doesn't know. He is very demanding. He's so spoiled now. Yeah, we're gonna get the all that when we get back. Right? Yeah, that's how he greets us. Which means, why haven't you been here to feed me? Yeah, but he's sweet though, he always comes to us by the gate. Yeah, he's a, he's a good cat, but he's still spoiled. Yeah, we spoil because we spoil him. Yeah. I've never had a cat I didn't spoil, so yeah, he's it's good. part of it. He spoiled me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I hope I clean. I wash dishes. <laughs> um, I cook. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. You cook. As, anyway. as, far, as far as the cleaning and washing dishes. I do. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> when it needs to be cleaned, yeah. When we run out of options. Yes. Here we're going to have banana leaves. So. Yeah, but I do, I do assist with the construction. I'm the logistics manager. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm very happy with you. Yes, yes. that's good. I picked a good one. Yes, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're just flirting each other. Flirting? Yeah, flirting with each other. I mean, we're already married, it's a bit late to start yeah, flirting. I think that's still called flirting. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe in the comments. They can say what are we doing. What? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway. people, people, people are probably wondering what I, uh, if the camera froze, we're just... It's not frozen. No, no, it's not frozen. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I, ho I hope we didn't bore you. See you. <laughs>